You know, we hate love bugs here in Florida. They're everywhere right now. <laughs> All right, hey foresters, Amy here. And we finally got around to cleaning up the greenhouse area. So you take a look around. We did a lot of stuff. We took all the plastic down because, of course, here in Florida, plastic just goes to brittle and not the kind you eat. <laughs> we got the uh, weed whacker going and Donald was able to finally get all the weeds down in control here. So, I'm going to show you a couple different things that we've done. I just had a lizard run across my feet. Uh, radishes and onions are doing great. We garlic. are. Garlic. Huh? Garlic. Oh, garlic. Sorry. Radishes and garlic. Sorry, my fault. Are doing great. Um, as you can tell, we have several of them. Um, we're going to be picking them probably. I'll pick them tomorrow after we got some storms coming tonight. So, um, here's the papaya tree that we chopped off the top. And as you tell, it is doing wonderful. Our mint is growing like crazy. Um, around here, I planted some Mexican sunflowers in various locations. And then, there's those blood bugs, I swear. <laughs> um, in the greenhouse here, as you can tell, we chopped it all down. Um, this is the sour sap. Sour sop. Sour sop. I always get it wrong, I don't know why. That's doing great. Um, we cut the tops off of our mangoes, so that way they'll have more room to grow. And then we took the extra black plastic that we had, laid it down, got it pinned down with the stakes, and then we brought all of our seedlings and anything that we're babying right now in in here so that way uh we got room out there to walk so let's go this way all right here's our seed rack um now because we are using a um i don't know what that thing's called sprinkler yeah but it's a certain uh, i guess a spray sprinkler that goes like this that um, kind of sprinkler. Yeah, that thing. <laughs> I'm doing good. Can you tell the sun has fried my brain today? Um, we noticed that it wasn't getting the other racks. So we went ahead and took them out and laid them down here. So that way, when we go to turn this on, it will spray everything here. Um, we got the red sorrels. We have pigeon pea, butterfly uh, pea. We got some basil going. We got um, eggplants are all here. We got passion fruit vines in the back. These are strawberry trees. Seedlings. Seedlings. Well, they're going to be trees. They're, they're getting <laughs> almost trees. Yeah, almost trees. Stupid love bug. Um, here's our potato clippings. Or starts. We're or making starts. Yeah, because we're gonna take these potato vines and the sweet potatoes, both the purple and the regular, and we're gonna start planting them in various locations around the property, just so that way we can always go and harvest whenever we want to. Um, these are all various different dragon fruits. Those are all yellow dragon fruits, believe it or not. Really? Yeah. Where are we gonna put all these? We don't have. We gotta plant some around the trees then. Yep. You know that oak tree that you planted some passion fruit on back yep. there? Maybe we ought to stick a uh sure. um dragon fruit in with it. All right. And then back here we got uh different variety of plants, more red sorrel, there's my cotton, um just different things that we want to keep growing, but they're not ready to transplant yet. 
And then if we pan over here, I was, uh, Donald was able to weed whack all that. And I was able to clean up the uh, strawberry um, box here. Our tail is doing great. We're eating off of this like crazy. Um, this is our strawberry patch. We are still getting strawberries. Tons of strawberries. Tons of straw I got a harvest today. Um, here is our Virginia Jumbo Peanuts. They are doing great. And you can actually see some of the flowers. Here's, here's some right here. And what will happen is when the flowers come up, they fall down. You have to have room for them to fall down. And then the flowers will actually go into the soil and then start your peanuts. I planted a couple of more Mexicans here flowers. I got to get um, a couple more out tonight before the rains come. And then over here is our blackberry bush. And it's doing great. As you can tell. It's time to harvest some. Time to harvest. Look at this. They're just all over the place. And we got more flowers. Look. Look at all the flowers blooming again. Yeah. So this thing has taken off this year. We are very happy with this. I mean, there it's so much, they're hanging on the other side of the fence, so I have to go down there to get them. And then lastly, our corn. It's actually doing pretty good. We got knee hot corn. <laughs> okay, here's all of our corn. Um, the ones in the corner are not doing as great, but I think that's because they're getting more shade. But to me, It's knee high to me. <laughs> Waist high? What are you talking about? <laughs> now, we did plant, what did we plant in here? The Kentucky pole beans? Yep. What? Yeah. Kentucky. Oh. Kentucky pole beans. Oh, I'm so tired. There's one right there. Where at? Right here? Yep. Yep. And you can see farther back, we got them growing. And they will, they're viney. So it's a complimentary ah, fire ants. I am not having a companion planting. Yeah, go ahead. You talk. It's called companion planting. After the uh, corn gets about 12 inches high, you plant your beans, your pole beans down it, and they will actually vine up the corn and the beans will put nitrogen into the ground for your corn. So we're hoping to get some sweet corn to get those fire they're, ants. They're like on my shoes too. So it's like, it's. Yeah, we're gonna have to get some fire ant bait. We got some coming Friday. <laughs> we don't like using insecticides but when it comes to fire ants, oh, I get tore up. We will happily bait those and kill them all. Well, I'll be taking better drill tonight. <clears throat> God, they hurt. I hate those things. We got a whole bunch of uh, cranberry hibiscus here. Yes. A lot of cuttings took off good for us this year. All the cassava has come back, except for um, just a few of the cassavas haven't come back, but we planted them in various locations. They all came back. We were able to get this finally mowed again, but you could tell where our potato vines come to an end. Ow. Be careful, watch out for that other ant pile there. Yeah. Oh. Lots of sweet potatoes. Yeah. Which is awesome. So, and Everglades tomatoes. Oh, those are everywhere. I tossed the one that I pulled out of the mango tree. I tossed it here. 
All right, I need to throw that into that the That was woven. I had to cut it into pieces because it had woven itself into the branches of the mango tree. So, yeah, that poor mango tree, I don't know how it didn't suffocate. We <laughs> love the Everglades tomatoes. They're real super sweet, but they, they grow are like a weed. We started off with one plant and now we have them popping up everywhere and they're everywhere and it's just because the birds will eat them and then when the birds poop them out they're just everywhere now we we run them over we we have so many <laughs> we mow them over we mow them over the weed eater yep but you get one everglades tomato that's all it takes and you'll always have tomatoes yep and you don't have to take care of them oh my foot itches they hate fire ants. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna go transplant that other those other two um, Mexican sunflowers that are growing in with the peanuts. I'm gonna put one here, the one that you killed. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> I killed another. I killed another one over there by the cassava too. Ah. Oh. So really? you really, yep. I gotta babysit you now. Yes, <laughs> always. Always. And I'm gonna go plant one of those uh, strawberry trees over in our phase two food forest. Yeah, I'd say get get the tallest one. I was and gonna get that one on the end. I like that one. Yeah. Make sure you um make sure you put a tire around it. Yep because Definitely. it does kind of flood over there so we want to make sure it doesn't get uh, root rot. We found a lunar moth in our greenhouse. Isn't that gorgeous? 